Alright guys, not to confuse you all, so recently I posted a video saying I made my debut in the UPSL with Miami Wolves. Um, so basically, the summer season is still going on in the UPSL, and that's why uh, I was able to play there with Miami Wolves. There were actually six games in already when I started playing with them. Um, and for the Red Force team, I tried out for the fall season, which starts in a couple weeks. Um, as I think I mentioned it before, you are allowed to have a team signed for when you're allowed to play in different leagues. Um, depending on your contract and depending on regal, like re that, depending on league regulations and depending on your player contracts, um, your for the fall leagues, which is the American Premier Soccer League, the APSL, and the UPSL, the United Premier Soccer League, you're allowed to have to uh, take part in both at the same time. They're not uh, league bearing. There are no rules that prevent you from participating with another team in a different league. The only thing is you're not allowed to play for another team in the same league, obviously. Those are obvious obvious rules. And that's just how it works in the semi-pro scene. Holy grail. What is up, guys? Footballers World. Alright, so... Last Tuesday during my tryout with Red Force, um, I was actually supposed to post something like this. But I got a message from the manager and they said because of my situation where I live in Jacksonville and I, w I won't be able to consistently go to all practices, they didn't want me. Although they did say that they would love to have a high caliber player like myself. I guess I impressed them during my tryout. Anyway, I injured myself. This guy gave me a through ball and I ran as fast as I could. But a slide tackle came in. So I had to jump over him and I landed on my heel. And I feel like I twisted my ankle a bit. It means no football. Well, I thought that's what it meant. But I rested it for a couple days and I felt fine. So on Saturday, four days after the tryout, I played my UPSL match with Miami Wolves. I mean, I had a practice session on Thursday and I kept it light, made sure I didn't worsen my injury. It felt fine on Saturday. But after the game, it was just felt horrible. I mean, I only lasted 80 minutes in that game. It's still horrible. I was thinking of having no training session today, maybe just juggling, but I fear that even juggling would worsen the injury. I did however do 20 laps in the pool and I'll do a gym session where I'll focus on my upper body, maybe work my chest or my arms, and then add some light legs workout, but the focus is on the upper body and upper body cardio. If I do any cardio using a machine, it'll probably have to be the bike because that will have the least strenuous ankle movement. Guys, if you have an injury, it doesn't matter what your goal is. If you want to be pro, semi-pro, whatever, you have to rest. Because if you force yourself through everything, you're just endangering your future, your career, because injuries can get worse and it might affect your career in such a negative way. You might not be able to play again if you mess something up. So have patience, guys and try to be successful and try to think of your career when you're not playing because there's so many aspects of the game that you can touch on without being in the field you can see guys, you all know I'm injured so this is what I'm doing now I'm watching last game I'm taking notes of my performances probably gonna watch the whole game two or three times and see where I can improve It's just the start of the second half and I thought that I was not doing the best like uh, after the game my impression of the game was that I didn't handle the ball well but looking at the statistics here I've had 24 good passes um, completed passes and four missed passes and that's just at 60 minutes 
Let's see how the rest of the game goes. I'm in the library, so I have to be quiet. But, I just finished something that you guys might really, really, really love. If you want to go pro, the thing, there's only one thing more important than your video, and that's your CV. Check this out.